uh, morning again. So here we have examples. Now this part will be on bending, based on bending moment. Shaft failure based on bending examples. So let us read out the questions. A pair of wheels of a railway wagon carries a load of 50 kN on each axle box, acting at a distance of 100 mm outside the wheel base. The gauge of the rails is 1.4 m. So the length okay, will be taken as 1.4 m. Now find the diameter of the axle between the wheels if the stress is not to exceed 100 megapascal, this will be the bending stress. So here I have the diagram drawn. Okay, so 50 kilonewton and 50 kilonewton acting at a distance of 0 0.1 meter from the wheels. Okay, and then another one here 50 again 0 0.1 from the right hand wheels. So you have 50 and 50. How you got this 50 here is the total load that is acting from the top, okay, is 100 and it is equally distributed among the two wheels. So you have 50 and 50. So from this diagram, okay, I have drawn the bending moment diagram for the above case. So you have this as the bending moment diagram, even though this is negative five, but when we consider the bending moment, we should take the magnitude to be 5 kN meter only. Ignore the negative sign, please. Thank you. Now, finding the maximum bending moment, how this diagram is being drawn. So what you need to do is you need to find the bending moment point by point, starting from the left hand end. That means at this 50 kN here. So bending at point A, so if let's say, for example, this is your point A, so the bending moment here should be equals to zero because the length is zero because you are taking from the left hand end, not the right hand end, okay? So while you are taking any bending moment or any length that you consider based from left hand end, then you should have ignore everything on the right hand side. So only anything that is from the left hand end. So the length here, okay, I should put my point A here. So the length would be zero. So with the force multiplied by the length of zero, you get a bending moment at point A as zero. Then after that, we have at point B. So at point B, you will have, okay, actually, um, sorry. Okay, it's a negative because it is causing the shaft to bend downwards. So I have negative 50 times this length here of 0 0.1 meter. So that is why you have a bending moment of negative 5 kilonewton meter. Okay, so that is about point B. Then you move to point C. Anything from the left, no from the right, nothing from the right. Okay, so the lengths or the forces, always everything must be from the left hand end if you take the case from left hand end but if you take the case from right hand end then it's a different case okay so at this point c here you have 50 multiplied by the length of 1.5 meter plus with this 50 here which will cause the shaft to bend upwards so that is why it's a positive sign and this is a negative sign because this will cause the shaft to bend downwards and this will cause the shaft to bend upwards. So that is why when you take moment about this point here, you have positive 50 times 1.4. So you get a resultant bending moment at point C as negative 5 kN meter. And at point D, definitely you get a zero because from the beginning, we consider the beam or the shaft to be equilibrium. So that is why you will get a zero, okay, bending moment at the final point. So from these values here, now you can plot this diagram. That is the bending moment diagram. Now move away from that. So now the maximum bending moment that we have got from our calculations 
the slide before, you have maximum bending moment of 5 kN. Ignore the negative sign, please. So based on strength relationship, that is M over I, sigma over Y, so the moment of inertia about the X and the Y axis is given as pi D4 over 64. And the Y you measure from the X, that is from the CG, to the outermost layer of the circle. So that is here or here. Here. Okay, so this length would be half the diameter. So that will be your Y length from the X axis, from the neutral axis. So this is diameter over 2. Okay, so then come back to this, your strength relationship of the simple bending equation. So substituting your I value and your Y value. So you have your bending stress is 32M over pi D cubed. So we need to find out the diameter, remember? So manipulating this, Diameter cube, pull it up, sigma, pull it down, so you have this. Okay, substituting the maximum bending moment and the maximum bending stress. Cube these values here, so you will get your diameter of the shaft that is required to transmit this amount of bending as 79.8 millimeter. In this case, we have no torsion, no torque included, so only bending moment. So you have 79.8 millimeter as the answer. Thank you very much for your time. And I will see you again in the next portion, in the next podcast. So remember, any comment or any questions, please put on the comment section in my YouTube for shaft design under the failure of bending moment. Thank you very much. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.